For today's video, we are going to talk about what is arithmetic mean. And we are going to find out how to find the arithmetic mean of the given sequence. First, let us define what is arithmetic mean. When we say arithmetic mean, it is the term of the arithmetic sequence that is between two given terms are called arithmetic means. Now, in order for us to understand what is arithmetic mean, let us familiarize ourselves to the formula of arithmetic sequence. That is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a sub n, that is the last term, a sub 1, that is the first term, n will be the number of terms, and d, that is the common difference. So let's have an example. Number 1. What is the arithmetic mean between 85 and 95? So let us write the given 85 blank and 95. There are two different ways in finding the arithmetic mean of 85 and 95. First, you are going to add 85 and 95 and then divide by 2. So that is 85 plus 95 divided by 2. So that is 180 divided by 2. So the arithmetic mean is 90. Or you can use the formula for arithmetic sequence. That is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Wherein a sub 1 will be the first term that is 85. And then a sub n, that is the last term, which is 95. And then n, that is 3, because we have three terms, 1, 2, 3. And we are looking for the common difference. Now, let us substitute the given value to the given formula. So a sub n will be 95. So that is 95 equals a sub 1, which is 85, plus... The value of n, which is 3, minus 1, times t. Let's simplify. We have 95 equals 85 plus 3 minus 1, that is 2, times d, that is 2d. And then, let's move 85 to the side of 95. So that is 95 minus 85. Plus, equals 2d and then 95 minus 85 that is 10 equals 2d to find the value of common difference simply divide by 2 cancel so the common difference is 5 so always remember to find the next term simply add the common difference to the first term or last term if you're going to find the arithmetic mean so in this case 85 plus 5 is 90. So, the, so ar the arithmetic mean of 85 and 95 is 90. What about number 2? What is the arithmetic mean between negative 12 and 4? So we have negative 12, blank, and 4. So we are looking the number, we are looking for a number between negative 12 and 4. So again, let's add negative 12 and 4 plus 4 over 2. So negative 12 plus 4, that is negative 8 over 2. So negative 8 over 2, that is negative 4. So the arithmetic mean is negative 4. Or you can use the formula we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a sub n will be the last term, which is 4. a sub 1 will be the first term, that is negative 12. And then n, that is 3, because we have 3 terms, 1, 2, 3. And then let us substitute this given to the formula. We are looking for d. So we have 4 equals a sub 1 that is negative 12 plus n that is 3 minus 1 times d 
Then we have 4 equals negative 12 plus 3 minus 1, that is 2, times d, that is 2d. And then move negative 12 to the side of 4, that is 4 plus 12 equals 2d. And then 4 plus 12, that is 16 equals 2d. Divide both sides by 2. So the common difference is 16 divided by 2 is 8. So to find the mean, simply add the common difference to the first term. Negative 12 plus 8. That is negative 4. Let's have another example. On number 3, Insert four arithmetic means between 38 and 98. First, let us write the given. We have 38 and we are going to insert four arithmetic mean. That means we are going to insert four numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 98. In this case, we are going to use the formula of arithmetic sequence. That is A sub N equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let us determine first the given. a sub n is the last term, which is 98. And then a sub 1 will be the first term, that is 38. And then n, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So n is 6, and we are looking for the common difference. Now, let us substitute this given to the given formula. a sub n will be 98 equals a sub 1 is 38 plus n, that is 6, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have, we have 6 terms. 6 minus 1 times t. And then let us simplify. 98 equals 38 plus 6 minus 1, that is 5, times d, that is 5d. This time, let us move 38 to the side of 98. So we have now 98 minus 38 equals 5d. And then, 98 minus 38, that is 60. Okay? 98 minus 38, that is 60. Then, 60 equals 5d. And then, to find the value of d, that is, we're going to divide by 5. So, the common difference is 60 divided by 5 is 12. Now, to find the 4 arithmetic mean between 38 and 98, we are going to add the common difference to the first term. So that is 38 plus 12, that is 50. And then 50 plus 12, that is 62. 62 plus 12, that is 74. Then 74 plus 12, that is 86. And then 86 plus 12 is 98. So 98 will be the last term. So the arithmetic mean, four arithmetic mean between 38 and 98 are 50, 62, 74, and 86. What about number 4? How do we find the 5 arithmetic means between negative 15 and 3? First, let us write the given. We have negative 15. And then we are going to insert 5 arithmetic means between negative 15 and 3. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the last term is 3. So again, we are going to use the formula for arithmetic sequence. We have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where a sub n will be the last term, that is 3. a sub 1 is the first term that is negative 15 and then n will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have 7 terms and then 
D, we are looking for the common difference. Now, let us substitute this given to the formula. A sub n will be 3. That is the last term. Equals A sub 1, that is negative 15, the first term. Plus 7, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 terms. Minus 1 times D. Then after that, let us simplify. We have 3 equals negative 15 plus 7 minus 1 is 6 times D is 60. And then move negative 15 to the side of 3. We have 3 plus 15 equals 6D. And then 3 plus 15 is 18 equals 6D. Then divide both sides by 6 to find the common difference. So the common difference is 18 divided by 6 is 3. So to find the 5 arithmetic means between negative 15 and 3, simply add 3 to the first term. So we have negative 15 and we are going to insert 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 3. So we have here negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. The negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So therefore, the 5 arithmetic means between negative 15 and 3 are negative 12, negative 9, negative 6, negative 3, and 0. What about for number 5? If the third term of the arithmetic sequence is 13 and the ninth term is 37, Write the first nine terms of the sequence. So first, our given is 13, that is the third term. And then 37, which is ninth term. So we have here 1, 2, then third term, that is 13. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ninth term is 37. So in order for us to write the first nine terms, let us use the formula for arithmetic sequence. So we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now let us identify what is the last term, first term, and the value of n. So the last term is 37. And then a sub 1 since we do not have an a sub 1, 13 will be our first term. So that is 13. But the number of term will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. will be 7, not 9. Because since we don't have a first term, we are going to write 13 as our first term. And 37 will be our last term. But the number of terms will be 7. We are going to disregard first the first two terms before 13. So 13 will be the first term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, let us find the common difference. So we have a sub n, which is 37, equals a sub 1, which is 13, plus n, that is 7, minus 1, times the common difference. So 37 equals 13, Plus 7 minus 1 is 6 times d. That is 6d. And then after that, move 13 to the side of 37. 37 minus 13 equals 6d. What is 37 minus 13? So we have here 24 equals 6d. So divide both sides by 6. So the common difference is 24 divided by 6, that is 4. So this would be our common difference. Since we already know what is common difference, let us write the first nine terms in the sequence. Since the third term is 13, 
let us write first the first two terms before 13. So to find the first two terms before 13, we simply subtract 13 minus 4. 13 minus 4 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. So the, for, therefore, our first term is 5, second term is 9. What about the fourth term? So fourth term is 13 plus 4, that is 17. Fifth term, fifth term, 17 plus 4, which is 21. 6, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 21 plus 4 is 25. 25 plus 4 is 29. Then 29 plus 4 is 33. And then the ninth term, which is 37. So therefore, the first nine terms in the sequence is 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, 33, and 37. What about number 6? If the fourth term of arithmetic sequence is 24, and the twelfth term is 56. Write the first seven terms of the sequence. First, let us write the given. So since the first uh, fourth term is 24, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 24, the fourth term. Then we are going to have until 12, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 12th term is 56. Now, to write the first 7 terms of the sequence, let us use again the formula for arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So let us identify the given. So we have here a sub n will be the last term, which is 56. The number of terms. So since we don't have a first term, so this will be our first term. That is 24. But we change the number of terms or number of n. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So n will be 9 because our first term is 24. Now, let us write the given. So we have a sub n which is 56. 56 equals a sub 1 that is 24 plus n minus 1 that is 9 minus 1 times d. And then we have 56 equals 24 plus 8 minus 1 is or 8 9 minus 1 that is 8 d. And then move 24 to the side of 56. So 56 minus 24 equals 8D. Then subtract 56 minus 24. That is 32 equals 8D. Divide both sides by 8. So our common difference is 32 divided by 8. That is 4. So our common difference is 4. Now, let us insert the first 7 terms. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Since the fourth term is 24, 1, 2, 3, 4 is 24. So let us add 24 or 4 to the 24 to find the 5th, 6th, and 7th term. And we are going to subtract 4 to the 24 to find the first 3 terms. So let us subtract. 24 minus 4 is 20. 20 minus 4 is 16. 16 minus 4 is 12. So the first 3 terms is 12, 16, 20, 24. And then the next 3 terms after 24 is 24 plus 4 is 28. 28 plus 4, 32. 32 plus 4 is 36. So therefore, the first 7 terms of the sequence is 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36.